Time for part two. Let's add shadows to our flat illustration. Let's start with the hair. So go ahead and locate your hair in your layers panel and add a layer directly above it and call it hair shadows. Next, I'm just gonna lower the opacity of the original hair layer so I can see the reference image underneath. Now I'm just gonna start tracing any details and any shadows that I see on the reference image. So I just drew in my braids, a few curls, and then some shadows around my neck. Basically just trace any areas that seem a little darker on the reference image. When you're done, bring your opacity back up to 100. Then to change the color of your shadow layer, just drag and drop and then slide to the right. And the last thing I like to do is turn on the clipping mask on my shadow layers. So that's basically it. Just follow the same steps for all of the rest of the shapes, adding a new shadow layer above each shape, and then using a clipping mask to clip the shadow to the shape. Here's a peek at my final layers. You'll notice I have the shadow layer directly above each shape. Let me know if you guys have any questions and peace out.